Today we're going to look at a Pokemon collection box I have never seen before. I got this box from someone in the community, and I think it's the only one of its kind in existence. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so here I have our unknown collection box. As I said before, I think this thing is extremely rare. I've never really seen it before, and I really don't know where it comes from. I don't really know much about this box. I don't really know where it comes from or when they put it out. I just don't know. There really seems to be nothing out there about this. So it appears we get two promos, a Nintendo Switch game, and then four booster packs. All right, let's crack it open. Okay, first let's take a look at this Switch game. It appears to be a Switch copy of Skyrim. I'm a really big fan of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I really wish that was in here instead of Skyrim, but, you know, it's still very cool nonetheless. They are putting Skyrim pretty much on everything, so it doesn't really surprise me that they threw it in this box. But like I said, I'd rather see something else here. Looking at our promos, it appears that we have a Los Angeles Dodgers Mike Piazza card. But not his rookie card. Uh, this is a little bit later than that, but uh, still cool nonetheless. I'm glad they're making these kinds of Black Star promos. Our second promo card, it looks like we have a Three of Clubs. Oh, it looks like we have a $100 bill design on the back. Very unusual. But yeah, Three of Clubs, very interesting choice. I believe they did this because the Three of Clubs is Penn & Teller's favorite card, if you're familiar with them. They're world-class magicians who currently have a show at the Rio in Las Vegas. I think the Pokemon company recognized that obviously we would be fans and we would understand the reference, so they put it in here. Very cool to have my own Three of Clubs. We have an interesting assortment of packs here. Looks like we have a Magic the Gathering Innistrad pack, a Japanese 25th Anniversary Pokemon uh, Classic Collection promo pack, a Korean Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend of Blue Eyes pack, and another Magic the Gathering pack, this time Avacyn Restored. For our first booster pack, looking at Avacyn Restored. I haven't really opened up much of this set on this channel. You really don't see Avacyn Restored anymore. I think this is up to like a uh, $20 booster pack now, something like that. For cards in this set, we're gonna be looking for like Grizzlebrand, Cavern of Souls, Avacyn herself, that kind of stuff. We have the Defang, Griffangard, Dangerous Wager, Haven Gold Scab, Soul Cage Fiend, Terrifying Presence, Red Ringleader, Ghostly Flicker, Hairs of Stormkirk, Sheltering Word, Haunted Guardian, Smuggler, Druid's Familiar, Tracker, Forest, and no code card in this one. All right, next booster pack we have Innistrad. Same thing as Avacyn Restored, really not something I've opened up on this channel ever. Should be interesting. For this set, we're really looking for Liliana herself. We got the Elder Cathar, Grave Bramble, Blood Craze Neonate, Ghoul Caller's Bell, Bump in the Night, Moment of Heroism, Rotting Fence Snake, Ghoul Razor, Slayer of the Wicked, Sharpened Pitchfork, Wreath of Geists, and for our rare Elder of Laurels. Got a homunculus token there, looks like a checklist, and a Village Ironsmith. Moving on to our Yu-Gi-Oh pack, this is Korean Yu-Gi-Oh Legend of Blue Eyes. Very interesting choice for this box, but I'm into it. Legend of Blue Eyes, we want Dark Magician, we want Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is really just a classic Yu-Gi-Oh set, even in Korea. These booster packs are very hard to open by themselves, so that's why we're going to use scissors. And not just any scissors, these are actually medical trauma shears. So these are used to cut open like clothing and casts and braces in medical emergency situations. I think we're going to really need something like this to open up this pack of Yu-Gi-Oh. First card, looks like we got the Mammoth Graveyard, sword I've never seen before, Grimace, uh, Shark with a Rocket, and for a rare, ah, uh, it's Shrek. Ah, uh, no hollow in this pack. For our last booster pack, we have a Japanese 25th Anniversary promo pack. 
These were given out with the Pokemon 25th anniversary in Japan. These packs only contain one card inside and it is a guaranteed classic collection card. Now we could open this pack normally, you see the little crease right up top, but I don't want to do that, I want to risk damaging the card. We could use our Trauma Shears, but also, once again, I don't want to risk damaging the card. I think the easiest way to open this booster pack is going to be with an open flame. Here I have a lighter. This is called the Wick Master. Uh, it's really useful. You can cut wicks and stuff at the bottom here. And it has sort of like this um, cone to put out the flame. This is really going to be our tool of choice for opening these kinds of booster packs. Look at that. It just catches right on fire. Doing the other side. I think I burned the corners enough that we can actually get inside. A little melted, but that's okay. All right, let's take a look at our card. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's the Gardevoir EX. Not too bad. All right. That's one of the harder ones to get out of these promo packs. Not too bad. Actually, a good pull. So thank you for joining me for opening this very unique Pokemon collection box. I've never seen one like it before. If you've seen one like it before, please let me know in the comments below. I really would like to know where it comes from. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Alright, that does it for me. I think I'm going to do a new Skyrim playthrough.